Hey everybody, well, I'm actually uh, going on a last minute concert trip. Uh, my friend Anthony uh, had plans for months now to go and see a show with his wife by a Beatles sound alike band called Rain. And I've never seen Rain before, but I've heard they're very good. I, you know, I don't usually go to see many tribute bands to the Beatles. But I've seen a number over my life, and, uh, it, you know, it was interesting that when his wife wasn't able to make it, because she's not feeling well, unfortunately, um, Anthony asked me if I'd like to go along, and I had no plans, and, uh, of course, a night out to see a Beatles tribute band, one of the best, uh, they say, no problem. So, uh, I'm gonna go there and meet Anthony at the show. I'm uh, going to see how we make out. I don't know if I'm going to uh, take any movies in there or not. I don't want to get into all that. But we'll see how it goes. Take it one step at a time and uh, should be fun. I gotta uh, tell you a bombshell you didn't know about. What's that? I heard they're not gonna really do the Beatles songs. They're gonna do the solo Beatles songs from 1980 to 2015. <laughs> well, they do do some solo stuff, but I don't think all the way to 2000. I'll That's not that. gonna bother you too much if they did that, would it? If they just went from 1980 to now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of looking forward to the, uh, you know, pre-1980 material. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I gotta tell you, I've seen Ringo here at this theater many times, and I never got quite this close. But it's not really a bad seat in the house here. No, because they have the revolving stage. I mean, when did we see Ringo here? Well, almost uh, ten years ago, right? Oh six. It was ten. It was in oh six when we saw him. I think, yeah. Oh wow. six or oh seven. Time sure flies. Yeah. And you know, this time I'm looking forward to, to maybe seeing Ringo again on this tour, but he's not. Uh, not coming to this theater, unfortunately. Well, yeah. I was kind of hoping that he would. I mean, just to give you an idea how good the seats are here, there's not a bad seat here. Now look, there's the center. I mean, it's great. Now, do you remember we saw Ringo here, but we also saw Paul at the garden? Who did we see first? I think we saw Paul first, then Ringo. Yeah, right? we saw Paul at the garden in 2005. Yeah, then we saw Ringo like 06 or 07, like right after that. Yeah. And I can't believe how, how fast the time goes, you know? I mean, it's like 10, 11 years. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Now, uh, when we were here last time, uh, we saw 1964. And like I said, if you liked 1964, you will uh, like these guys as much, if not better. Yeah, I thought 1964 was a pretty good tribute band. The only thing was that they only did, obviously, the early stuff. I don't think they, I think they did a little bit in 66, I think they might have done. They yeah. didn't go past 66. No, these guys uh, span the whole career from 64 through 70 and, that, and beyond. You know that can't be bad. No. Ringo's like 10 years old. Ringo, 13. I'll try and make eye contact with you at some point. <laughs>
is the uh, break in the show right now, Anthony. Yes, the intermission. And what do you think? You've seen them before, all right? Yes, I have. And uh, what do you think? I like them uh, very much. I think they're very good. Yeah, I think they're pretty good. I like all the different years that they do. Um, I feel like they do um, a lot of the popular songs, right? Like, you know, nothing a little more deep. But uh, it's still uh, it's very entertaining. I noticed that Ringo looks like uh, he hasn't learned to shave yet. Well, uh, he grew a mustache uh, pretty much in a matter of minutes, so, you know, I guess he did learn along the way. Did he go to school yet, Ringo? Is Ringo, I mean, where'd they get him from? <laughs> that I don't know. But, uh, you know, I guess they do the hits because they know this is what the, uh, your, uh, what most Beatles fans that are not uh, enthusiastic as you might be or know as much as you like to hear yeah well, they cover they cover all the bases yeah I'm just surprised, I'm surprised they let little Ringo stay up so late. <laughs> it looks like it's past his bedtime. I know, it's getting to be a tired joke. Look at it this way. Thanks, Anthony, for inviting me to a vacant seat that uh, your wife couldn't make. But uh, then we got to figure out what we're going to do. We're going to get some eats, talk about the show a little bit or something. I had a blast. Watch out for this car. Holy cow. I'm trying to follow Anthony to go to a diner after the show. and He's driving like a mad a madman. Hey, when people are following you, you know, give, him, give him a break. Don't do any dazzling moves. Jeez, whoa, just take it easy, Anthony. Alright, hey, Anthony, we got a little bit of a problem, alright? I've only got a dollar, alright? So, I, you know, I'm not going to be able to pay for everything for the two of us, you know what I'm saying? Alright, I understand. Alright, so what I'll, what I'll do is when, when the person comes over to take our orders, I'll order something for myself, like a sandwich or something. And then when I ask what you want, you say you don't care for nothing, you don't want anything, okay? And no matter what happens, you just keep saying you don't want anything, right? right? Okay. All right. And then, you know, we'll split the sandwich. To, you know, you can eat some of mine. Okay. I think we're ready. Five minutes. All right. Uh... Take your time. Give me more time. Uh, I just want to, no. I, I no. was thinking uh, I'd probably get a tuna sandwich on rye, please. Lettuce and tomato. Uh, yeah, lettuce and tomato is good. Thank you. What, what about you, Anthony? What do you have? No, I'm not gonna have nothing. Not gonna have anything? No. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. We're in a, we're in a diner, right? Yes. What do people come in a diner for? They come to eat. They come to eat, right? You are hungry, right? Yeah. So you want something, right? Sure. Uh, well, but you know, you can have something, right? Order something small. Uh, I'll have ham and eggs. Ham <laughs> <laughs> and eggs. Hold on a minute, sorry. Just give me a second. Don't you understand, Anthony? I've only got a dollar. 
Now you can't say you want anything. We only got a dollar. Okay. Yeah, but you keep coaxing me. I don't care how much I coax you. You don't want anything. You understand? What do you think? I want these people to think that I'm a cheapskate. No. Well, then remember, you don't want anything. You got it? Got it. Yeah, nothing. Right. Nothing. No matter how much I coax you. No, one more. Sir. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll have that tuna sandwich. And Anthony, what do you want? I'm good. I want that. Oh, come on. You have something. <laughs> You're in a restaurant. You told me you were hungry on the way over here. You gotta order something. Uh, I'll have a cheeseburger. Uh, <laughs> all right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Wait, sir. Well, Anthony, here we are, having a bite to eat after the show. I uh, had a great time. I did too. And uh, what, what was your impressions, uh, although it's not your first time seeing rain? I thought they did a real good job, you know? The way I like the way they go from all the time periods, from 64 to 70 and into some solo uh, material as well. Yeah, they have the, uh, what solo material? I'll give Peace a chance, I think, yeah. the only thing that they, they did. Yeah. But, uh, no, I definitely like the costume changes and everything. I thought they uh, were really good. I thought John, Paul, and George all looked really good. I, don't like, I mean, George really looked like the real George and Paul. Well, all of them did, except for Ringo. And I, and I know I'm hopping on this. I've never seen them before. They look like they grabbed some, like, teenager out of the audience. I think that might have been a different Ringo from when the first time I saw him. When I saw him the first time, the guy was a little older, and uh, he looked more like Ringo than this person did tonight. I mean, he didn't know. even have a big schnozzola or anything, you know? I mean, yeah. kind of weird. But... I thought he looked more like Ringo once he put the mustache on, I have to oh, say. Oh, yeah, that helps a little bit. At least at age, it makes him look at least 20 years old instead of, you know, instead of like 14 or something like yeah. that, you know? But he, he was pretty good on the drums. Yeah. All in all, I must say, uh, a pleasant evening out, you know, all things considered. Oh, look at that. Well, I don't know about those onion rings, they look pretty uh, tantalizing. <laughs> Hope you can eat that whole basket because that's a lot. Not me, no. Well, why'd you get such a big thing for? I own it. <laughs> How much is a side of onion rings? I don't know. <laughs> Camera's off. No, it's not. <laughs> Can't fool me. Come on, I want you to eat one. Let's eat one for the. <laughs> <laughs> yummy, yum, yum. <laughs>